In this brand new video, in this brand new series titled Yo V Yo, old Uncle Yo is gonna go toe to toe with Young Yo E reviewing and critiquing this video from 2013 that now has almost 1.8 million views and is one of the top five videos on this channel. And at the end, I'm gonna let you know if old Uncle Yo still agrees with Yo Young E's response to that question. <laughs> as well as what I would respond to that very question if asked today. So make sure you stick around to the very end. Let's go. So our buddy Rob has met the perfect woman. Beautiful in every way, and more importantly, she was into fitness, and she supported him in losing weight. But as he moved closer to this woman, he realized that, boy, she's got some, some serious problems. She's got relationship baggage. She likes to drink and party a lot. This is definitely a detriment to our buddy Rob, and realizes that, boy, this bitch is problems. He's like, I'm conflicted now because I was attracted, and all the good things that she had, she still has, but there are spiders and cobwebs and a whole lot of nastiness in that closet. So you gotta recognize there is a primal nature to the man and woman, and it is embodied in the nature of the penis and vagina. Wait, what? Recognize the form of the vagina, soft and yielding. It is often and always actually a representation of the character of the female. The woman advertises and brings in. Create a environment where a man would want to come in, right? Like the vagina. Very interesting. The nature of the penis is to hunt down and aggress, assert itself. The energy builds up in the man and he has to go out and assert. The nature of the penis and the vagina does not change. Attract and absorb, hunt and assert. So you've gotta be very careful, right? Because if you have an ungrounded searching and asserting, that means you tend to turn your brain off, especially when it comes time to sex. You lost yourself, dude. Absolutely. You got tricked, right? The marketing is so good that once you finally get the product, you're like, eh, she's so hot, dude. Yeah, great, but the product is terrible. The marketing's great, the product's terrible. My suggestion, my imitation, is to cut and run, dude. She brought you in. You saw what was there. Now get out and go. Because what's inside there is far more important than what you see on the outside. That's right, brother. Always look at the core values of the individual, how they live their life, what they actually do when no one else is looking. That's how you know whether or not this is more than just a penis vagina ploy <laughs> and something that is long lasting. Good luck. Okay, not bad. Here's what I would add. Red flag number one. There's no such thing as an outright perfect woman. A woman becomes perfect for you only through time and mileage. Like a well-worn pair of Birkenstocks, a good woman will begin to mold herself to a form that's most pleasing to you. Red flag number two, she helped him lose weight. A woman's hypergamous nature dictates that she always wants to date up, meaning that she wants to date a man that's better than her. By her helping you lose weight, she must first perceive you as helpless, like a child. She might adore you at first, but she'll fail to respect you like a man. Red flag number three, relationship baggage. This basically means that there's an alpha male somewhere who has left an indomitable impression on her soul, and she will never truly be free from that imprint. Women respond to strong emotions, and even if she hates him, he will be living rent free in her heart forever. Red flag number four, she's a drinker and partier. Women who get drunk dry up and age very quickly. Also, regardless of what this degenerate YOLO culture teaches, it is uncouth, unsanitary, and unbecoming of a young woman to get drunk, sloppy, and slurish in public. My suggestion is to have enough self-respect and self-control to stay away from women who are drunkards, druggers, and stay out past midnight. Now, in case any of the things I'm talking about right now sound prudish, puritanical, and unpopular, I suggest you watch two of my most recent videos that go deeper into these topics. Number one, stop having sex with bad women. And number two, fornication makes men blind. Now before I deliver my final score to Yo Young E for his valiant efforts, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and comment down below what your response would be to that very question. In conclusion, grumpy old Uncle Yo is feeling generous enough today 
to give Yo Young E a score of three out of five for his clever but lacking response. He gets one point for formulating his response around the theory of character structure, which basically states that form equals function in all human regards. Understanding sexual dynamics by the very shape of a man and a woman is a very fascinating consideration to behold. If you're interested in learning more, study bioenergetic analysis and the work of Alexander Lowen. He also gets one point for saying penis and vagina throughout the entire video with a straight face, like he's a doctor or scientist or something. And if I was really the third Hodge twin, I would have been saying mushroom tip and sugar walls the entire time instead. Hey, hey I know you're in you're fat. Let's open the door, I'm gonna give you some mushroom tip. And of course, his advice to cut and run was sound, practical, and prudent. But Yo Young E failed to point out all the obvious red flags, as well as admonishing this poor young sinner for his folly of fornication. 